Supermodel. Welcome to the Faith Model Guide. Whether you are an aspiring model with no experience and want to learn the skills to become a professional model, or you're an experienced model seeking to manifest a successful modeling career, the Faith Model Guide can help you at any stage. My name is Iman Jasmine Brown, and in today's video, I will be demonstrating a 30 minute, low impact, no jumping, full body workout alongside my go-to fitness partner, Mad Fit, AKA Maddie. Anyone who knows me knows that I highly recommend Mad Fit. I've been working out with Maddie since 2020 and I look no further because I get everything I need in a workout session. And as a professional model, it's not only important for you to maintain your uh, mental, spiritual wellness, but also a healthy physique, right? So follow along with me as we do this 30 minute full body workout. Um, <laughs> I'm going to link Maddie's uh, YouTube channel in the description box below. If you wanna see more workout videos from me, more of my like go-to videos, then go ahead and ask uh, for like targeted areas, but usually I like to do full body. But anyways, without further ado, in the words of Maddie, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be doing a 30 minute no repeat workout. This workout requires absolutely no equipment. There's no jumping. It's low impact, easy on the joints. Don't forget Make to sure like that you can see your so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. My goal is to one day work out with All right guys, we're first gonna start off by touching the fingertips to the ground and then reaching up, rising on the tippy toes. Down and up. Make sure you keep that chest lifted as you come down to the ground. Feel those glutes engage at the bottom. Take a 15 second rest. Next up, we are going to do some step jacks. Don't forget so it's like to warm up jumping and stretch jacks, before you work out. You're stepping out to the side and bring it back in. Out and in. Make sure you keep your upper body nice and strong. Your shoulder blades are down the back. Your chest is open. taking my time but I got up and I'm doing it today. I tend to want to work out at least at least three times a week. Good. Your heart rate should be going Woo! a little bit now. Now that we're nice and warmed up we're going to start off by doing some sumo squats. So feet are pointed outward on a right. diagonal a little bit further than a regular squat stance. <laughs> You're coming down and up, nice and simple. Don't make sure you're breathing to those heels, press through those heels as you come up. Except at the top of our sumo squat, we're going to come up on our tippy toes and squeeze those inner thighs together so your legs are as straight as possible and you're really squeezing those inner thighs. 
Here we go. Make sure you're coming all the way down in your squat, sitting into those heels and pressing through those toes. One thing I learned about balance is just to be mindful of your center. A few more seconds. Always find your center and you'll be able to balance. Next up, we're going to do a modified burpee. So, there's not going to be any jumping. You're going to place the hands down on the ground. You're going to step it out, step it in. You're going to come through a squat. So, I'm staying nice and low. Fingertips come to the ears, come up and lower. Hands to the floor. Step it out nice and flat. Bring it in and up. Side step. So you're going to come to one end of your mat. You're going to be in almost like a half squat position, not a full squat. Stepping to the side, to the side, keeping that same level, and your arms are doing nice tight circles. directions with your arms. Squeeze that back. Chest is open. Keep those arms up. I'm playing too much. My circle's all over the place. Make sure you're staying low. Ooh, good. All right, next up. Yes, arms. Feet are nice and wide. Toes are pointed to either wall. Hands are out. You're going to do right. a tricep <laughs> extension as you come into almost like a warrior pose here. You're squeezing that tricep and then coming through, flipping it over. Other side, squeeze and up. So you want to keep your arms at the same level this whole time. Stay down here. 
make sure you go down a little bit of a shake because we're going into a bear crawl position. I know this is everybody's favorite. Oh, Lord, You're going to keep your back nice and flat. You can either just hold here for 45 seconds or you can tap opposite knee. You can do this. We're starting to fire up that core, burning out our arms here a little bit. If you're tapping each knee, try to make sure that your body's not wobbling from side to side. Really think about bringing that belly button to your spine, engage that core. Flip it over on your back. It's time for some abs. Next up, we're extending arms and legs, pressing that lower back into the floor and keeping it pressed into the floor. Extend, then bring it all the way in for a crunch. Out and in. on your back. Feet are pressed into the floor. Next up we're going to do some elbow to knee crunches. So fingertips are by the ears. You're meeting the elbow and the knee in the center, getting that shoulder blade up off the floor and then coming back down through center. Here we go.
got this girl. Keep going. Whew. All right, standing up. Coming to one end of our mat, we're gonna do some more plank walkouts, except this time at the bottom of our walkout. You're gonna come down for a push up. You can do this on your toes or on your knees. Let's go. Make sure you're hitting that plank position every time. Good, standing up. Next up, we're gonna do some standing oblique twists. So, we're twisting three times. One, two, on your third twist, you're reaching for that toe or you're reaching for the knee. Here we go. Good. All right, next up, we're gonna do that same step jack motion that we did at the beginning, coming up and in, except this time, instead of your arms going up and down, we're pushing backward. So push, push. Squeeze that back. Don't let those arms drop, keep them the same level. arching your back almost to get the booty up, but think about tucking it under. And get those hips as high as you can to the sky. So I'm pressing my lower back into the floor every time. Plank. 
Come on guys, keep pushing. All right, next up, we're gonna do two donkey kick pulses. We're gonna do one leg at a time. So I am starting off with using my right leg and my left elbow is coming down while my right hand is up. I'm doing two pulses, then I'm bringing the knee in to meet the elbow. Then back up, pulse, pulse to the elbow. So we're working that core here a little bit as well. You should be feeling the burn in your booties. Take a quick 15 second breather. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So this time I'm using my left leg, my right elbow is down, my left hand is on the ground. Think about pressing that heel to the ceiling, hold it there, drive the knee forward, and then bring it right back where it was. Up, up. Flip it over onto your back. Next up, nice and simple, we're gonna do some bicycle crunches. So we're just pedaling it out, elbow to knee. Press that back into the floor and keep those shoulder blades up. If this is too much, I should have given you this modification earlier. You're just gonna sit and tap those toes. Back on the ground. 
up. So you're going to be up on your hands, coming down to your elbows, back up to your hands. If that is too much, you're either going to just hold plank on your hands or on your elbows. Oh, Lord. I would pick this one today. to push through this last little bit of the workout. You're going to do a squat and you're going to twist. So our core is nice and fired up. You should feel that in your abs as you twist. some lunges and some squats. <laughs> so you're going to step it back for a reverse lunge. Here I thought we were dead. You're coming through a squat, then into another reverse oh. lunge. And we're going to do that for 45 seconds wow. and you're going to stay low. You're going to hate it, but you're going to love me afterwards. Down, squat. Step it right back. Stay low. You got this. Sit into those heels. Woo! Come on guys, 15 more seconds. Try this at home. You will feel the burn. Touching those fingertips or clapping underneath your legs every time. Working out really helps with modeling as well because you're working on your posture, working on your breathing, and you also do cool workouts like this, there could be poses. Like, you get me? Yeah, you got it. Good. 
bed. Second to last exercise. This is what I call skater squats. Yes, more squats, but this is the last, the last squat exercise. You're coming down almost like you're doing an ice skater. Leg is diagonally behind you. And you're stepping through a squat. And then you do the other side. Step. Touch. Sit into those heels, sit back into that squat. Keep that chest lifted. And breathe. Come on guys, couple more seconds. Don't stop, keep that booty down. exercise to the ground. Last exercise. We are going to pulse it out with our abs. So feet are out. You're sitting back so there's tension on your abs the whole time. And we're going to pulse for 45 seconds. Try to slow down your breathing here. Take some deep breaths. jumping yet still quite intense workout if you enjoyed this one make sure to give it a thumbs up for me leave me your feedback in the comments down below and don't forget if you're looking for structured workout programs designed by me make sure to check out the master app you can download your seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description if you're new here so we're like that subscribe button post notifications so you don't miss another video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next video bye take care bye for now